Welcome to the Technology Closet and Quick Shots. Today our Quick Shot is installing applications in Windows 8. There are two ways to install applications in Windows 8. An application that is listed and in the uh, Microsoft Application Store and those that are not. We're going to demonstrate both today. Let's install an application from the Windows Store. Select the Store tile. Now I've already pre-selected an area to go to, in this case new releases, and I'm going to select a media player. Click on the application. That particular application will come up with an information screen giving you overview, details, reviews, etc. The price, in this case it's free, and the ability to install. Select Install. Once the program is installed, we will be notified by uh, this little box at the top right. Let's just close that down. Now we're going to close down the store. And there's our new program. Notice it has the look and feel of the other tiles. That is because it does come from the store. Applications that do not come from the store will have more of a generic icon feel to that. Let's do that right now. We're going to install a program that is not in the Microsoft Store. To do that, we must go to the desktop. So we select the desktop tile, click. This brings us up to our Windows 7 a lookalike desktop. We're going to open up the Internet Explorer browser. I already have an icon set up to do that. Once we open the browser, we go to the website where the application that we wish to download is located. In this case, Mozilla. We'll select download the application from the website. When that's done, it'll download the file to the downloads directory on our system. Now I've already done that. So I'm going to close this down. I'm going to open up the file folder down at the bottom. Go to the downloads directory and there's Firefox. To install the program, double click on the setup. Now, once the setup has been executed, the program will then install. When the installation is complete, it will put an icon on the desktop letting us know that it is completed. Continue with Yes. Next. We want the standard installation. Next. We don't want this to be the default browser. We want to stay with Internet Explorer. Install. Now we go through the continuation of the installation process. And when that's completed, we'll be notified at the top of the screen, letting us know that it is complete. There's our notification. I'm going to uncheck Launch Firefox and select Finish. Then I'm going to close this particular download folder. I'm also going to close the desktop now. We don't need that. Now we're back at the start screen. You see we have our Windows app from the App Store and the new Firefox browser. Let's click on the apps that we got from the store. It has that look and feel of all the other apps that uh, are come from the store and that great looking uh, easy to follow interface. Let's close this down now and shut the window. Let's go to Firefox. Click on Firefox, but because of this did not come from the store, it has to run in the desktop. It'll do it automatically. So we click Firefox. It then opened up the desktop and there's our browser. Let's close down the browser, close down the desktop, and that completes this quick shot. Thank you.